Hi guys, Jeff and Cole here again uh, from TAP in our next series of the videos for the coronavirus and the impact it's having on us. It's really starting to bite in now and I've been one of the classic uh, uh, fallbacks for the industry is that you're quiet, a car comes in that you're not that familiar with or a system you're not that familiar with and you think we're quiet, we'll take it on. And I've seen so many disaster stories where people have taken on jobs without doing the proper research. And, and the reason that we do that, and the technicians do that, is because of pride. Hey, I've got time, I'll dig in, I'll have a look, and that makes sense. Now when it was mechanical, and the worst that could happen is you pull the manifold up and you put another gasket back on to put the manifold back on, not too much. But you start digging electronically, or hell breaks too, doesn't oh, 100%. it? 100%. So I guess what we're saying here is that this is a bit of a preventative thing for our point of view. We might be a bit quiet, we might want to take on a job, so what should we make sure we do? I think we're not, what we're saying is you don't not take on the job, but do your research. In other words, do your basic initial evaluation of the problem, and then start to consult some of your, your networks. Consult TAT if you're a member, uh, your, your data providers, or any other networks. Do your research, ask the questions from people that are gonna know more. If it's a transmission related problem, contact a transmission specialist. If it's a Mercedes, contact someone that knows about, more about Mercedes. Now I've done it myself in the past where people will say to me, people that know a lot more about that vehicle say, Jeff, don't touch it. That's good enough for me, I won't touch it. Or sub it out or do something. But find out before you start working too deeply on the car. Don't dig yourself a hole that you can't get yourself out of just because it's quiet. So, going back to what you said though, if you are going to put time into it, are you going to do it, and you haven't got a lot happening, why well, not get the big whiteboard out, write up on there what the situation is, get everybody involved, and use it as a learning experience. 100%, use the time. If you're quiet, you've got a bit more time, do your research, do a bit of homework, make the, ask the questions that you've got to ask before you do too much damage. It's too late after you've done something, you go, whoops, I shouldn't have done that, find out beforehand. And just a little tidbit there, when you're talking to the customer about this, don't tell them that we're just trying to work it out, <laughs> okay? Have the confidence in your value, but on the other hand, make sure you allow time and tell the customer that there's gonna be a charge. However, if you're investing some of that time in training your people in this downtime, yeah. then okay, you might put it two hours into this to do so because you're using it as a training and a learning experience. Correct. So your learning experience, the customer's getting value, everybody's winning. So you know, there are sometimes some positives that we can get. Well, I think communication again to the customer is so important. So if you are a little bit unfamiliar with a particular system or a vehicle, be open with the customer. So I'm you know, pretty confident on this, but I need to do a bit of research. Give me a day or so to do a bit of homework, and then I'll get back to you and let you know what we think is the best course of action. So be honest with the customer, communicate with them what, exactly what you're gonna be doing. And that helps us get through this whole problem, this whole situation that we've got. Yep. So that's our message for this time. Yep, again, if you've got any ideas, anything you're doing, questions, etc. Email Cole, put it down there, and then again we can keep on sharing. So again, as we, if we all work together, and again with Capricorn, stronger with Capricorn, we can get through this, guys. Let's just share and, and, and work out the best way forward. See you next time.